Dario, just to begin everything off, I wanted to just ask you, how are you doing? Are you happy right now in this moment? And how is the season going for you with FC Tulsa? I was trying to be happy. Uh, of course, the team have uh, uh, some troubles right now. Uh, they, they're in the middle of the table, uh, fighting for, to, get, to get in the playoff. And I believe they, they, they're they going to make the playoff. And it's going to be very, very long season to to get to get the champion. Do you have a favorite moment so far of all of your time being with FC Tulsa? Yeah, I have a couple of memories, like really good memories with the team. I Bishop, I been he's been a, a pleasure play for this team in these three years. Uh, I always gonna remember the the goals against OKC. That's a classic and he's this kind of games, the stadium full the the ambience outside the field you can feel inside the field too and when you score in these important games it's always like something they keep in your mind yeah i always score like some bangers from outside the area hopefully they keep coming you talked about before um you have an incredible story of when you fled the cuban national team and ran a couple of miles to a gas station um all in search of a new life did you know what was going to happen to you when you left or were you simply prepared to just run, try and find your friend and begin the new life from there? Did you have a plan of where you wanted to go, who you wanted to play for, or were you ready to do anything just to escape? No, I, I don't really plan nothing. Just, I say, just left the team and try to find my friend and they, they pick me up. So after that, I only have only one thing in my mind. I want to be a professional soccer player and I want to realize my dream. That's the thing they, they always put in my, in my head. Fight for your dreams and never, never stop believing in yourself. That's it. Do you see a very big difference in quality of life from where you are right now in the second division with Tulsa to where you used to be with Ann Arbor? Is there a huge difference in qualities of trainers? of fields, uh, of jerseys, of even respect that you get from people as you climb up the divisions? Is there a big difference in America between those divisions, you would say? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, it's a couple of different, of course. And Angabu was like an amateur team. They doing life really well uh, from outside the field, but sometimes you can see in the, in the lead they have like, some troubles in in the in the fields with referees they got troubles from organization sometimes and it's more like the typically the the college players play for play in summer but when do you 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 start playing the high level like USO USO is growing so much and so quick and you can see the the, the difference from the player, from the training staff, from coaching, in the games, the fans, everything is getting bigger year and year and year. And you can see the players right now, USO signs from to sign contracts straight to Europe to first division. And the league is going like, it's going like, it's going to be like one of the most important league in, in America. Do you think American football will get to the level of European football one day or will it never reach that level? Is it possible? I think it's, it's possible. Like, I believe it's going to happen probably not really, really soon, but next year, probably five, ten years, you can, you're going to be like same level and the same structure. They have to make a, a couple of changes. They have to put their relegation because – this is when the teams feel the real pressure and you can see the 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 high quality of every single player in the same team from the organizations outside. Uh, it's not the same when you lost a Saturday and and then on then on then you know you don't feel something when you have to fight for don't get in the last three and the, on the table it's a different feeling and the fans can feel from outside too they pushing so hard. And I think when they change these small details, the football is going to explode in the U.S. Right now, you can see the difference right now. 
MLS is beating the Mexican football right now every single time. They have so more and so many young talent players playing in Europe, doing so well. And you can see Pulisic, Reina, uh, Pepe, like a lot of players, like really, really young, uh, doing well in, in his teams up front of sight. And I believe they, when the day change these 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 systems in US, they're gonna explode down. Sport players to everywhere, and a lot of players come to, to play in this league too. Very well said, Dario. Thanks for coming and thanks for your time. Uh, thank you so much, my friend. I always be a pleasure to talk to you.